Hi FlossTube, I'm Carly. I have been thinking about doing this for like a year now and I was going to do it on my birthday in December. Today's my unbirthday, half birthday, whatever you want to call it. I had ordered a new laptop. <laughs> Thought it would be here by now. It's not. I was going to do it when that came. That didn't come. And anyway, so I figured this was a good day as any to start. I was all set to do it on my birthday because I figured, well, I didn't be previously because I had anxiety, like big time. And I was all set. I made up my mind I was going to do it on my birthday. And I got home from work. I worked night shift. I, I got home from work and my son was awake, so I didn't do it. <laughs> um... But I've had some friends telling me to do it and to include my daughter which should help with my anxiety and I will be doing that but not right now like I said I'm working night shift so I just decided it's May 1st beginning of mania I've already started two projects um, I started a blog with the Whipocalypse Sal and I'm having more fun with that than I expected to um, so here we go there won't be editing because if I look back and view this, it won't get posted. So, there won't be any editing until I get more comfortable maybe. Or who knows if I'll do this again. But anyway, it's my lunchtime. I'm at my work. I'm in my car because there's not a place to do it at work. And if I waited till I got home, it's going to be May 2nd. Because I work until 1 o'clock in the morning. Um... Anyway, so let's go. So I am participating in Whipocalypse, and my current focus is one I'm having a hard time focusing on, and I don't, I love the pattern and the design, and I really don't want to stitch it. I don't know if it's because it's a kit or because it's Ada, but I really have to force myself to work on it. So I did a little bit last night. I've worked on it like twice, and it started in March as my, my maybe April my focus piece my one previous to that was the frosted pumpkin citry um sweet spice cell which i finished on time that's never happened for oh no i did the i did do the witchy hat one finished on time and i have finished a couple of i did the lizzie kate christmas mystery christmas one this year and um, Stiach. I do those. So, and I did that one on time and it was really cool. And one of these days I'll show it to you. So this is the, the one I'm struggling with. I love the design. It's Be Joyful. It's Tobin James Design Works. I got it when I first started getting, got back into stitching in 2014. Um, since I've picked it back up, I've done some of this red and I think some of this pink right here the bird was already all done except for the back stitching this one I'm a little um, disheartened with because he's not looking as good the bird he's not looking as good as he does in the picture like the colors don't blend as nicely maybe back stitching will help we'll see anyway so there's really not like a ton left to do there's flowers here and it says be joyful there and I like the other ones the saints but I don't like the birds in those ones so I won't be getting them um so I'll just be doing this one but it's been a whip for a long time um so it's my focus in one of these days May is going to be hard besides I'm trying to actively participate in misfit mania and stitch mania because well misfit mania because I'm not exactly doing stitch mania um, this mania is all about me. It's what I want to stitch on. So, um, he might get put, I worked on him a little bit last night. He might be on the wayside for a while. Um, one of these days he'll be pretty and I'll be done. Anyway, so this is my focus piece right now, or it was, and I guess it'll continue to be, um, for Apocalypse. Okay, so today I'm only showing you the whips that 
I dragged out of my car because I am on my lunch break. Um, I have a lot of I have a lot of whips, and right now all of my I'm like spending far too much money, and it's like buy all the Lizzie Kate, buy all the Lizzie Kate. Didn't expect the retirement came out of nowhere. So I thought I had time to be purchasing all these patterns. Now I'm trying to get, I have one more that I really, 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 really want. And it's out of stock everywhere. I have notifications set up. Um, Lois at Needleworks up in Cockburst Cove said she would order it for me. But if I found it someplace else to go ahead and order it. So I have an email notification at 123Stitch. They're expecting it back in. It's the moments that take your breath away quote. It's my favorite favorite um i didn't i brought my haul to work yesterday for my blog posts and didn't want to drag it around again today so i don't have my recent haul um but it's a lot of lizzie kate and i'll link my blog below because hopefully by the end of the week that'll be done um if anybody sees this at all anyway so my first mania start and there's going to be crinkling Sorry, not sorry. Um, it's the mania for me. It's me mania. And apparently all the black. Because the things I have picked out are all the black. So this is Minerva. I started her last night. She's an Nora Corbett bewitching pixie. And focus. Okay. Also, first time doing this. I don't know how this is going to go. Um. And I'm sitting in my car and it's looks like it might rain outside. So I'm apologizing for all that now and I won't do it again. Anyway, so this is Minerva. This is her picture. She's a bewit bewitching pixie. And I am putting her on Hurricane from Under the Sea Fabrics. And that's pretty good. Um, that's last night after I got home from work. So from, I don't know. Three o'clock ish to six o'clock ish, not bad. And so far, only had to frog about four stitches, so that was cool because I usually mess these Noras and Mirabilias up. But she's coming along nicely, and that makes me happy because I'm going to the Mirabilia Minions retreat in a couple weeks, and I everybody wants to have a start there, and I want to have a finish. Now maybe it'll be her, maybe it won't be her. I do have Feather Fairy part of the way done. I just have to find the box. She's on my Apocalypse Sal too. I just have to find the box that I have all her threads and stuff in. Anyway, so that's Minerva. Okay, today, because while I know it is still May 1st, I got home at one o'clock in the morning. Well, it was probably about two o'clock and after I ate and sat down and pulled the stuff I wanted to stitch and picked out a fabric, it was around three, but it was now May 1st. And then I went to sleep. I went to sleep after I took my daughter to school at eight o'clock and I got up at 1.30. So I know it's May 1st, but it's day two for me. So this is one of the patterns I got lucky. I got a good deal on eBay. This is Prairie Moon. The red and the black too because look at that i don't really love samplers you guys are corrupting me um i bought my first reproduction sampler which will be in my hall that's at home but it says sarah brazier's 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 whatever her name is i don't know why i like it but i do anyway so prairie moon the red and the black i got this for I want to say $40 or less on eBay cut like a year ago. So I'm starting it. This is where I'm at. I literally just started this at work. So there's an A and part of the B. And this is on Buttercup from Under the Sea Fabrics. 32 count linen. That's my jam. Um, I am into Fabric of the Month Clubs. It's Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, and Stephanie's. I love all the fabric dyers and I spend my money. I share my money equally amongst them sort of um fabric is sort of my addiction because when i started stitching 20 years ago there wasn't hand dyed fabric i never knew about it it was whatever ada you could get in the store and i don't like ada 
I'll stitch on it, but I don't like it. So anyway, this is my mania for me. Me mania. Start number two. And I'll keep working on this until they take us off the phones at work. Because I at least get to stitch in the downtime. It stops being busy around 6.30 most days. So I get an hour to two. At one to three hours of stitching while I'm at work on the phones. Um, I work in customer service on the phone lines for Big Brother. So anyway, isn't it pretty? And I love this buttercup fabric. This is my second piece of it. I have a giant piece I was putting off the Lizzie Kate Santa's on. Which is an order I have. A bundle from Crazy Crazy Annie's coming of all the Lizzie Kate Santa's. Because I thought I had time. Anyway. So that's Mania start number two. These are my other focus pieces. Focus. These are my other focus pieces. This is Welcome to the Forest. On the called called for lambs wool linen I kind of got sick of these flags and while I like the color it doesn't really say teal to me and the color is really tealy and this is the called for fabric it's lambs wool Ada um, and there's a peach color in here that you can't even see it blends right in so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that um, it's cute second pattern just came in it's part of my haul so I'm doing that. These are my only monthly ones right now. Um, and then I have the Little House Needleworks Farmhouse Christmas. Okay, so there's part number three. Love the red truck. And I put, I put arms on the snowman because you got to have arms on the snowman. There's part one, the barn with the little sheep. Isn't it cute? And then here's part two. I'm just putting them where I feel like I want them to go. Because I do what I, I stitch what I want. I do what I want. I stitch what I want. So here's my horsing around with the chicken, with the horse, and the people. Apparently there's a big to-do about the people at the farm. And all I can think of is, well, who the hell do you think runs the farm? Who drives that truck? And my friend Leah, she was like, it's grandpa's truck. Nobody does. Grandpa's truck. Grandpa's dead. It was really funny. But I put the people in. The people don't bother me. And this is my Bewitched Stitches cell for the EAP Macabre. Um, my friend Kaylin gave me the pattern a while ago. And then they did this. So I started it finally. This is also on an Under the Sea Fabrics. Everything but that Welcome to the Forest is under the sea fabrics right now. Okay. And I'm not going to remember where I got all my needle minders from. Unless they're like new and I'm showing them. So I do know that this one came from Gina. Gina's Unique Needle Minders. Because um, I got it to go with the Lakeside Needlecraft Doreen Jones Halloween one last year. Anyway. So this is the Master and the Macabre. On ghoulish from under the fabrics. Let me move that. It's making it too heavy. Okay. So I switched out the slime green in the windows for glow in the dark DMC. This is the first time I've used silks. So I got the called for silken colors. And because of my fabric choice, because tell me that's not perfect. This color is supposed to be like a tea, a light um, turquoisey teal color. But it just sort of fit blended. Like you could see it. But not enough. Um, so I, this is the dark purple that's called for down here. When I get to the raven in the inkwell. I believe. Um, but the moon. My my silk wasn't doesn't seem to be very variegated. And some of my friends were like oh a little bit. So I'm just stitching in straight lines across. I don't see any variegation. I see where it's probably because of the fabric underneath. Um, but my first question was, does, did he have jaundice? Was he an alcoholic? Because look at those eyes. Anyway, so I got, this is Acorn Woods, and oh my god, I love it. It's a silken colors called for. 
I knew this roof was going to be a beast, so I did that first. I did the whole half stitch outline, then I did see this over here with the moon. And so far I've only been, for a little bit now, I've only been working on this on Saturdays when I meet up with all my friends at Panera's for stitchy time. Stitchy Saturdays. Um, but I do want to, I started in like a week later than everybody else started their EAP macabre style. Um, I do want to get them done, this done in the time frame that the moon and the house are going to be the worst parts. Um, I don't know if it'll get done, but I would like for it to be done. So we'll see. Anyway, it's coming along nicely. This is ghoulish 32 count linen from Leslie at Under the Sea. Um, and okay, it cut off because every now and then my phone likes to just start this defender things usually happens at night late at night but whatever um so i'll figure it out if i can put these together this fabric is under the sea fabrics um 32 count linen and sagebrush it was one of the fabric of the months this year um and it looks like old denim jeans which is why i love it it's perfect um first i was like wintry sky but now it looks like grandpa's old overalls and it works for me so those are my little focus pieces right now. I did get haul, but like I said, um, it's not here. And this will get better. I just needed to make myself do it or I wasn't going to do it. So I'm doing it and it's going to be awful and awkward. But if I continue to do it, it'll get better. I don't stay that way. I, you know, it takes a minute. Um... Oops. But I'm in my car and it's a new car, so I don't have all the stuff worked out yet. Um, like there's no good place to set this, set my phone at. Um, so I'm hoping that laptop I got is one of those, um, tablet, laptop, whatever, like three way deal. Um, so, but it'll be here. And so we're going to, me and my friends, we're going to the Mirabilia Minions Retreat in San Antonio in a few weeks. So that will be fun. My first retreat was the Austin YouTube Retreat put on by Julie. Um, and it was fun. Um, I watch Floss Tube not as much as I want to. I used to make fun of my kids for being on YouTube all the time and now I'm on YouTube all the time. But I just... I work full time and I stitch when I'm not working um, there's not enough time in my day to get to everybody my favorites the ones I always watch are uh, I can't keep up with stitcherista because so many videos they're so good but I lose track of them and then um, when I have some extra free time I go through and try to catch up um, but I watch, so I watch the Teresa because I love her because she's like my spirit animal. I do have a potty mouth. I'm not really going to watch it. Um, not for everybody. And another interruption. That was my daughter Tatum asking if she could have cake. She's got the largest sweet tooth I've ever seen in any kid ever. Oh, there we go. Um, so, this is my go. Now I gotta figure out how to string four videos together. Because I didn't do airplane mode. I don't know why those other apps popped up on my phone, but they did. It's happened a couple of times, but usually it's late at night. Like, always at an inconvenient time like this. Um, for the next one, I'll do the note. If there's a next one, I will do the Know Your Needle Worker tag. Um... Just in general, I've been stitching since I was pregnant with my oldest, who's going to be 20 in August. So, 20-ish 20 20 -ish years. Um, I was regularly stitching I'm through the second kid, off and on. And um, after the third kid, I did a little bit. And then three kids and a full-time job and got a divorce. And then I moved to Texas from California. And... 2014 
and didn't have anybody to talk to and then I some group on Facebook and started me all up again. I think it was the Verveco group. I think. Anyway, so I've been stitching almost every day since then. There was a little period where I lost my stitchy bug and I went maybe a month or two. Um, but I try to stitch every day. I tell people it's my sanity saver, my stress reliever, my anxiety soother. Um, it's what I do. And you'll, you'll see I have eclectic tastes. I like cutesy. I like subversive. I didn't used to be into the prims and the samplers. Um, some of them are growing on me. I'm still not huge into them. But some I can see myself stitching. Um, anyway. Okay, I think I'm done. Um, I will leave the link for my blog spot below. And not blogspot wordpress wordpress yeah see i'm nervous and this is what happens i do have a couple more starts planned and um i'm not doing a full-on 18 starts in 18 days i'm not doing all that um because i already have a lot of whips that haven't been touched in a long time um but it's about me this year so i'm doing this prairie moon the black and the red too and i got my holy grail pattern a lot like a month or so ago um and it's the prairie moon merry christmas club so i'll be getting started on that one and we'll see wherever my little heart takes me i'm going to keep up on my monthly ones i would like to get that last frosted pumpkin um april showers one done i've done all the other ones so far because those are just crazy cute and I'm working on a Wonder Woman. I'll, I'll get around to showing you when I work on them. Um, I might do some vlog style stuff. Then I don't have to show my face. I have bad skin and I'm a little, um, you know, about it. Um, I'm not a drug addict. I'm not a tweaker. Um, not recovering. You see me. Uh, clench in my jaw it's a leftover side effect for some anxiety meds I was on a few years ago it hasn't gone away it's like a TMJ syndrome where I just want to clench my jaw all the time um, and the bad skin I just have bad skin I keep going to the doctor I keep telling them I'm 40 years old and this is ridiculous and nothing works uh, more about that later, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Anyway, so my name is Carly. I think I said that at the beginning. At the beginning, I stitch what I want, when I want, and how I want. I like to pick fabrics, whatever substitute threads. I'm right now. It's all about the Lizzie Kate. So I want to start a couple, of, like four Lizzie Kates. Two of them, if the fabrics from Leslie that I just ordered, if I get them in mail, start them for Mania. If I don't get the two pieces of fabric, it's not a big deal. I have the patterns and I'm happy. Um, I got one more set coming from Stitching Bits and Bobs that, you know, I ordered in February. And I still don't have it because out of stock Lizzie Kate items. Everybody else got stock. They get it faster than this. I don't know what the deal is. So, just a reminder, stitching bits and bobs has a good deal sometimes, but if you want it in a hurry, don't order it from them. Just don't. If you can wait, it's okay. But, like, seriously, come on, this is taking entirely too long. Um, so, I want to do Halloween rules and ABs, or, and, not Halloween rules. I have Halloween rules, but I want to do, um... Boot Club and Christmas Rules, and I'm totally copying Sammy J. I ordered the same fabric because hers is phenomenal from Leslie um, for Christmas Rules, and I just picked something else for the Boot Club that hopefully it works. If not, I got plenty of fabric. I'll find something that does. Um, so, we'll see. I'd also like to do 
the Halloween and Christmas ABCs because those probably ought to stitch up real quick and have them done by the holidays this year. I love Halloween and I love Christmas. Um, like I can stitch Halloween all year. I don't always want to stitch Christmas, but Halloween seems to work out for me pretty well. Um, but I like a lot of things. My tastes run the gamut. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get off here. I'm sure my 30 minute lunch is over and my boss is kind of a D-bag. Um, he's got a giant ego. Um, so I will see you later. Thanks for watching.